Hello, my violence-loving buddies. This is Depassion, also known as Mikel. And I rolled out of bed this morning, checked Twitter, checked Cedar51's Twitter, thought I would. 35 minutes ago, he made a post. And I thought myself, you know, let's get on with the rest of my day. And then I'm like, no, let's actually make a video about this. We finally have a screenshot from No More Heroes 3. I'm too, too happy about this, man. You have no idea. And uh, funny enough, we got a Rick and Morty meme kind of pasted over this in a way. It's quite cute. It's quite a cute little crossover. This, I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. I love it. Love it. I love Mr. Meeseeks. He's so goddamn funny. <laughs> but yes. I'm too happy about this, man. I'm too happy. And, oh, yeah, Mac McMuscle is happening. He's, he's seen this too. I'm too happy about that. But, yeah, we uh, we finally get to see Travis. I'm seriously too happy about this. And, actually, one wonderful thing, especially, is um, once we forget about Mr. Meeseeks, okay, we can all just relax about that, is the camera angle, for one thing. The camera angle. Do we actually have, are we actually able to adjust the camera again like we could in No More Heroes 1? Because No More Heroes 2, you couldn't really do that. You just either let it go sort of freehand, either lock on, then it scopes in on your target, or that's about it, because the, the evade buttons were just the evade buttons. The D-pad was, it just let you evade. It didn't let you like control which way you could see on the screen. At least when it came to the Nintendo Wii remote and Nunchuck. Bit of a shame, but you can't have everything. So, that's something interesting to me. Also, it's goddamn shades. They look freaking perfect. Gold and yellow. It's beautiful. And uh, we also got still the damaged No More Heroes. Uh, <laughs> the damaged No More Heroes sign. And it's actually still... It's actually been put back together from um, his... Uh, his escapades that Travis gets up to later in No More Heroes 2 with uh, with Sylvia. <laughs> so the sign's been repaired, so that's a good thing to see. Actually, now that I notice this too, his left hand is actually looking a bit more... Just like a regular-ass hand. It's either that or we can customise the colour of the Death Drive glove. I didn't even kind of want that, but that sounds like a kind of cool thing now. But yeah, like the glove looks more white than just like tar black. So that's very interesting. I only just noticed that glancing. <laughs> what else is there? He's looking good from just this sort of low-ish quality picture. He's looking pretty, 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 pretty good. But my big takeaway from this... Actually, no. Different shirt, for one thing. Another sweet shirt. I have many more that, to come. And... He's gotten thick! Look at them goddamn shoulders, man. He just look at that. Look at that shoulder width! He's going straight across the screen. <laughs> Every single swing is going to be just like extended way goddamn further. He's, oh man, I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy about this. And um, it's either that we got a spaceship in the background in the top left. Or it could be just another of many skyscrapers that are in Santa Destroy. Because we have to keep in mind that this city has just only grown bigger and bigger. Just ever since No More Heroes 1. Really, because then when we got to two, yep, assassin assassinations and assassinations rankings are like a way bigger thing. And then, yeah, and then Travis leaves. He ends up leaving. Um, so then Travis strikes again. It makes sense why he's in a trailer and shit. So it's actually pretty nuts. It's actually pretty nuts. And we got the death drive belt buckle. I'm kind of hoping still that it's the Phantom Game console. It's either an upgraded version of that. Or just the next released one. And yeah, he's just rocking that. He's just rocking and repping that. Just on his ricking crotch. As a portable game console. So when he's using any of his Death Drive abilities, it makes sense. Rather than it being like, oh yeah, I just got the controller. This, that's all I need. So that'd be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, he still kept those little bags. He still kept, kept those little bags on him. So that's pretty nuts too. I'm hoping those, those are the different skill chips just in those pouches. Um, but I, I don't see his beam katana at all on him. Like, it's either that or his uh, beam katana is, like, digitized or some shit. So, like, it's rooted to a skill chip or something. Uh, but that's pretty nutty. I'm seriously happy about this. I seriously am. Just, like, this is any information at all. This is what happens when your fan base is starving for info. This is what happens. We get desperate and we eat up and take anything that we can get. Because... It's No More Heroes 3, baby. We're going back to paradise. 
It's going to be wonderful, weird, and fantastic. But until then, this has been Depassion, also known as Mikel. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this screenshot. If there's anything else you notice, just drop it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye on Suda51's uh, Twitter. It's actually adorable, all the different games he's played. What sort of things people have retweeted to him. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great time. It's fantastic. But anyway, see you around.